If you have an audio file, you can automatically extract the mouth shapes for each word that's being said. And then you can use that data in Blender to drive your animations. Once you've extracted that data, you can use it to switch between different pre-made facial poses known as visemes. So what is a viseme? Well, a viseme is the shape that a particular sound makes. And so that means what we need to do in Blender is take a character and recreate those particular facial expressions. So I have this character here that I made, very, very basic, and I've rigged his face so I can animate it. So as you can see, we can pull the face and deform the mouth as we wish. And what I've also done is I've created a separate set bone collection. So I'm just going to hide all of the bones except the mouth. I have a, have a mouth facial collection here. What we can do is we can create different mouth shapes and create poses. So we have the different sounds. So we've got ah and d and e, and we can we can simply apply these poses just to show the different mouth shapes, as you can see. And ultimately, it comes down to your artistic skill as to how these mouth shapes become. But we have all the different types of poses here. Now, the way that you make these is let's come across to the dope sheet to begin with, and let's just get rid of anything in in this active strip just here in the action editor. You can change from dope sheet to action editor just down here. And what we want to do is you want to come down to the zero key on the time. Well, I suppose it, you can put it on frame one, whatever. You just need one single keyframe. I always have it on frame zero. So what then we do is let me just reset the position and rotation of all these keyframes. If I wanted to make, say, a smile pose, I could say just Grab this like this and just pose it as needed. And then we can select all of these and then we can press K location and rotation. And that creates a keyframe just there. And then what you can do is you can click on this create pose asset. And then here we can name it and we can call it smile. And now that stays in your pose library. And so if we if we disable that particular strip, and then Alt R G and S, we apply, say, a different pose and we can come back. We can apply this specific pose. So once you've made all the different mouth shapes and I'll go into the details of which mouth shapes you need specifically a little bit later on. Once you have your character ready with all the different visemes created, we can then actually look at creating the audio file. So let's go ahead and record an audio file. Hello, I am Jeff, the Furious Fighter. Once we've got our audio file, we actually need to jump into Adobe Character Animator. So on the welcome screen, we'll see that we have these different puppets. Now we can pick literally any of them, makes no odds. Let's open Chad. And we need to import our audio file. And so we have our, our scene, our puppet and our audio file. If we just take this audio file and we can just drag it into the timeline here, we can see the audio as such. And so we can play this audio. I am Jeff, the furious fighter. But what we actually need to do is we need to come up to the timeline and compute lip sync take from scene audio. And we can see here that what that's done is it's created these visemes. So when we play the animation again, hello, I am Jeff, the furious fighter. Hello. We can see how I it drives Jeff, the puppet's animation. The and this is because it's identified the different mouth shapes and it's simply switching out the mouth shape for each of the different sounds. And this is exactly what we're trying to do in Blender. So the next step, what we need to do is we need to right click on this audio input line just here. And we're going to click on copy visemes for After Effects. So then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open up a notepad file and I'm just going to paste that information in there. And what we can see here is it's got this time remap section, which shows us the frame and then a number next to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete everything except this list of numbers. So this is all we want in the file. And I'm just actually going to take this list and I'm just going to quickly open up and I'm just going to paste into Excel and I'm going to delete this first, this first column just here and then select everything, copy it, close Excel, then go back to notepad where I can just repaste everything into there. And there we have a list of all those numbers. Then I'm going to go ahead and save this to somewhere that I'm going to find it later. 
So now that's all the outside Blender stuff done, let's go back into Blender. So in order to access that data and make this animation do the things we need it to do, I need to utilize a plugin which I've written. So we can open up the properties panel. Here's my lip sync tool. We have a list of all the different poses and how they're mapped. So we have a rest pose, the A, D, E, F, L, M, O, R, S, U, uh, and woo sounds. And the way that I've constructed this is that we can change the names of the poses in the library. So if we wanted to call our things something other than AA, we could rename that and it would map it to this AA sound and so on. Now I've also added a pose prefix as well. And this is so that you can have a library full of different poses for different characters that can all be mapped in the same way. So in this particular case, I've prefixed this with worm. So all of my poses start worm underscore and then the Vizim. And the other option that I've got in this is the hold pose frame offset. And this is something which will help prevent sliding between poses. It will give us a small gap between the next Vizim. So this will give us a two frame gap. You can, you can change that from zero to whatever, and it will add that padding between the two timings. So what we need to do before we run the lip sync tool is I'm just going to come to the bone manager and I want to hide all the bones that are not the mouth because I just want to have the mouth active there. And I'm going to select all of the mouth bones because this only works bones that you have selected. So even if in the pose you have different bones animated, it won't affect those. It's only the ones that you have selected. So we come back to the lip sync tool. We run the tool and we find our file. And then what it'll do is it will put this in a separate action called lip sync. So if we come back to the beginning and we play this animation, we can see all the different mouth shapes. Now let's just bring in a video sequencer for a moment and come back to the beginning. I'm just going to add in a sound and I'm just going to find that sound that I recorded earlier and we can play this in sync with the animation. I am Jeff the Furious Fighter. I am Jeff the Furious Fighter. How cool is that? This way I can take any length of audio file I want and just convert it into those correct mouth shapes and basically create puppets and scripts and make animations. So I'm still working on this plugin and I'm not 100% convinced that it's ready to release to the public just yet. However, I will allow any of my members to access this plugin while it's in development in the members section of my Discord. So if you're interested in grabbing hold of this, get yourself over to the Discord, get yourself a membership and have fun. I'll also include this blend character with all the different mouth shapes in there. So you're free to have a play around. I'm currently in the process of trying to find a way around not having to use Adobe character animator, but I'm not sure how I'm going to do that. But if you're interested in this project, then drop me a like, drop me a subscribe and, uh, and let me know if you make anything cool using this plugin.